here you need to click on the configure build icon. Now, once you do this, you enter the build details setup template. Here you need to enter the source details of your build, enter a specific Git URL, then choose the repo credentials. You also have an option to add the credentials. Bill Piper mainly supports these credential types, password, SSH, token, access token, AWS. We'll choose password. Let's give it a name. We call it as cred demo two. And finally click on save. Then select the branch of your Git repository. and fill in the build context. Now specify the Docker file path where you have placed the Docker file in the Git repo. Finally, you need to click on the continue button to proceed further. Now this is the screen to enter the CI details. With Build Piper, conferring build details is so flexible that any team can adapt it for their own choice of framework or language. You need, you need to choose a language for defining CI checks. Here we'll choose Java. You also have an option to get the CI report published through Sonar. Once you, for this, you need to specify the project key. Now we'll move further by clicking on the continue button. Now here you can specify the built environment variables. Now, Build Piper also provides you with the ability to set up custom pre-hooks and post hooks during the build information stage. With pre-hooks and post hooks, you can enable the custom execution of the steps before and after the creation of the Docker image. Now, you can add pre-hooks or post hooks via running a command or uploading your file or by providing a Git URL. Finally, after entering these details, you need to click on the Summit button. Now, this is the Service Setup Details page. From here, you can trigger the build by clicking the Build icon. You can also edit the configuration details of your build by clicking here. You can edit the repository details. You can edit the CI details. You can edit the build environment variables details and the hook variables. We'll now trigger the build. Click here on this icon, fill in the tag, select the branch name, and that's it. We are all set to trigger our new build. Here we go.